All right. Hello, everyone. This is Chris and Mark from Codebox and Lifter LMS. Uh, we've just finished another meeting on our analytics that we're going to be adding into Lifter LMS. So just kind of wanted to share our progress and our vision for what's happening. Uh, thank you, everyone, for your patience and uh, new features as they come. We're working on it. Uh, we're also uh, building our team and, and growing into it just to make sure we can continue to develop new features and functionality and also offer the best support. It's really important to us to have good support for you guys and, and get it as quick as possible. So uh, February 15th, we have a another big release plan for Lifter LMS, which will kind of round out that core functionality of the LMS itself. And that is with a focus on course and student level analytics. And we're really excited to share with you what we're working on. Um, it's a big chunk of the LMS and it's going to take some time to develop over the next several weeks, but we'll be getting that to you soon. As well as for uh, those of you who are Infusionsoft users, we have some Infusionsoft functionality coming to you, which is uh, involves the Infusionsoft checkout and applying tags in Infusionsoft as a form of engagement. So if you're an Infusionsoft user, you kind of know what that means. But Mark and I are really excited to share what's going on in the analytics space that we're working on. And uh, I'll hand it over to you, Mark. What's, what's going to be coming in analytics? So we've been dealing with the, the challenge of providing good analytics and a good user management system within the WordPress. Um, what we've done is we've broke down the analytics into some different sections. We've broken it into an e-commerce section so that you can get the analytics for your sales. Um, from there, we've broken into courses, memberships, and student analytics. So the courses, we've then broken into two different sections, which is the completion of courses and enrollment in courses. So just tying it back up, the e-commerce analytics that we're working on, you'll be able to view the gross and net sales. You'll be able to see the discounts and coupons used. Um, you'll be able to drill down to custom date ranges and specific date ranges. We're also working on some great CSV export functions. Um, from the courses analytics page, you'll be able to view the large uh, general numbers as far as students enrolled in courses, students completion percentages, uh, lesson completion percentages by grouped courses. Um, you'll also be able to filter that information by different date ranges. Um, then we're, we're breaking that down a little bit better so that you can view student progress by course, um, get some good information. Uh, we're really looking at usability. So if you find that a course is particularly challenging on a certain lesson, you'll be able to see that from your analytics page and, and make some decisions. Um, we're also adding analytics to the membership section so that you'll be able to view all your active members and, and total members. Um, you'll be able to view expiration dates, filter that information by a custom date range. But what we're super excited about is our student analytics section. Um, the student analytics section is going to be more of a student administration dashboard that includes all the analytics that you need. Kind of a one-page area to go and, and manage all of your students, manage particular students, um, view quizzes, assignments. It's just It's just the one place you go to manage all of that. And I'm just going to kind of list out some of the stuff that we're including into that. Um, the general student analytics page, you'll be able to filter your students by courses and memberships. Um, you'll be able to show the pending quizzes on students. So if you have quizzes that are need to be manually graded, you'll be able to see that. When we release the assignment section, you'll be able to see pending assignments on that page. So you'll be able to filter the list quickly and get to the information you need. Um, from there, you can drill down to individual students, and that's where it gets really cool. You can email the particular student. You'll also be able to email a course, all the students enrolled in a course. Um, you'll be able to look at that particular student, see how much they've spent on courses, how many courses they're signed up with. Um, then you can drill down in those courses and see what lessons they've completed, what percentages they've gotten on the quizzes. Uh, you'll be able to 
give them more quiz attempts if they need it. You'll be able to mark questions incorrect or correct on the quizzes and assignments, um, add comments for them. Uh, then you'll also be able to add students to courses, add students to memberships, uh, remove them from both. Uh, you'll be able to view information about the students, like last time logged in, how long have they been enrolled, um, when, how often have they completed certain things. You'll also be able to look at uh, the pending assignments and quizzes and drill down into those. You'll be able to update uh, certificates for students. So if there's any issues, you can go in there and quickly just edit the certificate. You'll be able to view all the achievements. And this goes from being able to give that, get really engage with the student. And um, this is definitely for the teachers and the, the users that want to engage with the students, want to see wh how well their students are doing. But it also helps to look for issues. So if someone's gaming the system or, or there's people sharing accounts, you'll be able to kind of get that information too. Um, you'll also be able to do all your user profile update from the same page. So if you need to change somebody's email address or reset their password or update some of their information, you won't have to jump around. You'll just be able to do all that. And uh, yeah, we're really excited about it. We think that we're building not just an analytics section, but just a really great dashboard where you can manage all your users, courses, lessons, and sections. And um, it's beautiful. It's, it's a lot of fun. We're having a great time with it. So we're super excited to get it out there and start getting some feedback. Awesome. Well, thanks so much for that, Mark. And if anybody listening to this has any input of like certain types of analytics scenario, or I guess we would call it student management needs that would be you would find would find valuable on that once you drill down and you're looking at your analytics and you're on an individual student. If there's something that you would like to see there where all ears were totally listing listening, leave a comment below and we'll definitely consider that. And uh, yeah, just want to thank everybody for your patience as we're working on this piece. I know some uh, existing Lifter LMS folks are, are kind of wait interested in some other features, but we, we're polishing out and kind of rounding out that this core piece of within the LMS itself before we get too far into other integrations. Uh, once this student and course analytics and user dashboard stuff is done, then we can really zoom in on some of the top requested external integrations and, and advanced features. So thanks so much, and we look forward to uh, hearing from you regarding analytics. And if there's anything else we can do for you, just shoot us an email at help at lifterlms.com. Or if you're an existing user, we'd love to hear from you in the forums. There's the new features request forum, uh, the support forum, and also the general feedback forum. So we'd love to hear from you. Thank you so much.